Let's get going down. Okay, Yay. welcome everyone. Oh. <laughs> We've got big news. This is the Cupcake Girls, episode 10. It's October and I'm Jaylene. I'm Darlene. And there's the cupcakes back there. So this is where we do our our show in Prince George, where the two rivers meet on the Claytlay to Nay lands. So we're acknowledging that and grateful for that. And we have lots of things to talk oh, about. We do? And we're just laughing so hard with <sighs> this on. But this is very exciting. I think we figured out that this has been in the works for three years. Hey, Dar? Uh, yeah, three yeah. years. So we have looked at the cup eggs and we said three, four years ago, we need to knit a cowl. We need to design a cowl. And um, so here it is. Yay! It's the cup egg cowl. Yay! And um, in two versions. In two versions. Two different weights. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to get it up on Ravelry as a pattern today. And look at that, Dar. I'm so looking together again. <laughs> So there's lots of inspiration behind this. Um, in the winter time, you will see this because this is where we film. But there's snow. Yeah. Right. And in the spring, it lasts too. It does. Yeah. yeah. So so we're gonna put our picture up too on the yeah. um, that inspired us. So there's the snow. What do we call this? Well, this is dirty snow. Dirty snow. <laughs> These are the sections of the cowl. People. Yeah. Snow. Dirty, dirty snow. snow. Um, sandbanks dirt or dirt sandbank oh, yeah and the sandbank is mixed in with the dirt right yeah. and then the trees the forest and then the sky and the sky has some islets and um yeah so Dar did hers and Erin we used Haynes yeah. Creek thank you we love this yarn as you know we do love and it. um I used the DK so the fun thing about this is we're going to bring it in as a project because we're doing a knitting retreat. This is so fun. At the Dar. end of October. End of October. And this will be an option for people if they yeah. want. If they we can do, do a knit along. Project. Yeah. Knit along. So the fun thing is you could just go stash diving. Yeah. And make it your own. Yeah. I'd love to see a neon cut bank cowl. <laughs> yes. Um, or whatever you want. But this is this is big. This is our it's second kind of pattern, big and it's kind of fun because you can see we're incorporating a number of things for say for folks to, who yeah. aren't that familiar. So we've just got learning. slip stitches. We've got just straight stockinette. We've got color work twisted, twisted rib, and then this is the from um, very pink, very pink knit. her chevron pattern yeah and then we just did up some eyelets and ribbing so you're yeah. more, you're doing a lot yeah yeah it's yeah. awesome so that is actually a finished object for us it is way to go Dara. I mean, we've been waiting so long to showcase yes yeah. so and they are done so yeah it's going to be up on ravelry so why don't we talk about our our what yes. our episode is called it's called shore so check these beautiful sweaters out so yeah, I was exactly. I was dating mine. I ma finished mine in June 2018. Yeah. So we did. These we did sweaters them at the are same five time. years old. Unbelievable, hey. And I I have worn the sweater so much. And we totally twinned on this. One. Yeah. The, same they, buttons. That was the start. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Same buttons yeah. as each other. Yeah. Now the yarns are the same color, but my but, yarn yeah. is Rowan Pure Wool Superwash Worsted. Yeah. Which and, yeah, I don't know if we have any. We don't care. We can get it, but we just yeah. we're just done with carrying it for a bit. And then this one is Galway, which we Ooh. also have kind of, Loves you know, Galway. taken a break from. But yeah. Galway, oh, one of my favorite yarns. Right. So it comes out of a, a book that we both own. <laughs> yes. Swoon. And then, oops. And yeah. then this is part of, this is advertising the knits pattern, but you can see the, the short cardigan there. Yeah. Isn't it? It's and, a functional piece. Like, well, in this book, it's like it's a an amazing book. coffee table oh, book. Oh, that's where the lighthouse was yeah. from. Yeah. So um, I just want to add that my sweater, it's so crazy. I throw it in the washer and dryer thing. Oh, you and it, 
Yeah. And it fluffs up. Yeah. It like, looks it's, amazing. It's it's really one of the best pieces I've ever made because I wear it so much. And yeah. people, these are five years old. Yeah. Like we made them. Yeah. Over five years ago. That's so, so fun. They are excellent. So um, that's what the episode is. Sure. Done. Yeah. Number yeah. 10. It's pretty exciting. We're having so much fun. Um, so we have a twinsy uh, finished object. So we might as well do it together. Nice right? Well. This was a class we did. And it's called the Embrace Cowl. Should we put them on? Yeah. Okay. Um, I blocked mine a little bit, so it's a bit airier than Dar's. I didn't block mine because I wanted that really squishy right up to the neck yeah. feel. Oh, but isn't this, this neat, you guys? The Mobius twist. Yeah, you just do it. It's the first twist. time I've done one. Yeah. I love it. And Under then you can... jacket, jean jacket winter coat I you have can mine move on. it around yeah you can move the colors around mine is so what did you say you said you're never gonna take it off I might sleep in it just because it's soothing on my neck That's so nice right yeah. but I made mine out of the um, Manos del Uruguay Fino and there's little kits in the shop and they it's silk and merino I make everybody so touch it. It's kind of it's unbelievable. Amazing. It's amazing. You guys. Really awesome knit. Yeah. Right? It was fun. Yeah, the we class had a good time. was fun. Yeah. And... I ended up using these mini skeins that I had received with an advent mm -hmm. two years ago, and I hadn't even touched them. And then I used up some scraps that I had. And, and folks, we... Um, I want to tell you that some in some places I ran out of yarn, which is great because you can totally fudge this cow. Yeah. Like it doesn't have to be uh, line perfect. And it was so cool to be able to use up yarn. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's a good stash buster. Uh, it's doubled. The yarn is like doubled I wish, throughout. I wish you could feel it. Because well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this at the shop for a bit. That's a good idea. Then it's I'm, very inspiring. Someone came in and wanted a... Kind of a mindless knit, but also something accomplishing something outside of a scarf. And I showed her this, and she was it? all over it. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. 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 Cause we need those kind of knits. This was a soothing knit. We talked about that last At time. The class, yeah. And even in our episode, I think I mentioned something, didn't I? Anyway, it's a soothing. Whenever you're doing slips, there's something about it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. great project. So that do we? Oh, we told it's Andrea yeah. Mallory. And it's and the, embrace the embrace cowl. And, yeah. And we'll, you hold two strands together. Um, we'll put it in the notes. Totally. Mm -hmm. So those are our episode cardigan, our two FOs, and we're right into our whips. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. And we um, we have a lot of the same in this episode, which is exciting, yeah. but just using different yarns. So we should um, do the same Yeah, first? let's do this one. Okay. So this one comes from, uh, again, another class we did last year. And lo and behold, we're not done. <laughs> That's okay. But it is okay. This is how we roll. We don't get worked up about all those whips in our, in our, uh... I did finish the thumb. I'd forgotten. Oh, nice one, Dar. Um, maybe I had to show someone or something, but yes, I finished These it. These are the... Are they so cute? made mitts. Put mine on, too. I can't... I'm... This is motivating me. I need to, uh... I need to um, finish because these, my hands get so cold in winter. They are so fun to make. I love the salt and pepper palm. Right. One by one. And I like this detail around the thumb. So this and is. And I love the pattern, how it invites you to kind of switch it up if you like. Like yeah. I use three colors. You, you use three. two. Yeah. So I, um... These come out of a really fun book. Saltwater Classics, all the Newfoundland knits, right? Yes, we did that hat too. Yeah. Um, Newfoundland knits. These women are amazing, these two writers. They've done four books now. Wow. Um, so this is the street we made here. And I used, I was stash diving for this and I had a whole bunch yeah. of Briggs and Little Tuffy, which is such a... Um, Nice resilient yarn, isn't it? Well, and this is the yarn. They rely with at least three of their four books solely on Briggs and Little. 
I've got a lot of Tuffy yeah. going on. Or no, Briggs and Little. Briggs and Little, like, like yeah. This is Tuffy. I love Tuffy. I love Regal. All of it. Right? I ended up doing mine with the Eco Shetland Worsted. And I, I'm out of the color that we're that I'm using currently, mm -hmm. but uh, I use that. And then I used a stash. I had a Patton's Classic Merino Wool sitting there at home. So I Why used that not? for the white. Nice. But yeah, that's the Streely made, folks. Streely made. They're what just a... so cheerful for yeah. winter time. And it was a great class, people. You know, we like doing classes that are teaching a few skills here and there. Mm -hmm. And people loved it. Remember Madison's? Oh. Those were, were ultra so opaca. Amazing. Yeah, insane. They were so soft. So soft. So that's um one of my whips. I'll go yeah. into my second one, Dar. Yeah, do um, it. I have was counting. I, this is the sixth time I've made this happen. <laughs> so there's something really resonates because it's a really good pattern. We've talked about it on the show before, um, but it's my my partner, my guy. His birthday on Wednesday. And it's a running joke a little bit. Yeah. Trying to get the right toque for him. Yeah. So yesterday he's like, oh, what are you knitting on now? I was like, oh, a headband. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. But this is uh, Jason's cashmere hat by Melissa Thompson. I swear by this toque. It, it, you've got, you can do a, a little learn a cabling, but it will fit anyone. And I love, I really fingers crossed he's into it because. Oh, how could he not be? Look soft, at that color. The softness. I think the wool itches for him a little bit, which is understandable. So this is the um, Ale Manos del Uruguay, El Alegria Grande. So it's got a bit of nylon in it. We've made socks with it before. You know, and that will cut down a bit on your filling. Yeah, right? yeah. And I made his dad this hat in the same color. Oh, did so you I'm going to sell it. Oh, right. I'm going to sell it like that. I'm yeah. like, oh, you could be twins could with twins. Daddy. So yeah, that's my second. I've got two nights to finish this, but I think I can do it. Oh, I think you can too. Yeah. Because there's only a cable every... I'm on the... I finished the rib this morning. And um, one thing I just wanted to say is that the cabling, what I came to was I cable without a cable. You did, hey? yeah. Oh, because it's just I just hold. Yeah, I hold the stitches. Andrea Mowry has a great YouTube video, and it's not Maybe too slippery. I'll... No, good. And I just, it's so much faster. Yeah, yeah. So that's oh, my so favorite tube to make. Again, we people. wish you could feel these things. I know they're so so soft. Yeah, yours is so. Fun. Oh, it's really fun. So my um next my next whip is the pattern Violet Waffles by Haldora J. And we just took a, a picture off of the Ravelry page just to show you what the hat looks like. It's such a cute little project. It's uh, a great project. one too, yeah. And it's a nice uh, one skein for DK. Mm -hmm. So I chose to use <laughs> uh, <laughs> Merino this Yak. is crazy, dog. By Gathering Yarn. And that's my favorite color yeah they call this one blush and it's just it is like blush. people it's, okay it's 70 percent extra fine merino non superwash and 30 percent yak you get 250 meters and 100 gram hank I, I'm just, every person that comes in the shop, I said, you have to come feel something. <laughs> so I chose that and I, I did it for the brim and then I got excited and I decided, hopefully you can see that in the video. I you can. I got excited oh, yeah, to put the metallic <gasps> in Dar. there. It's so, so this subtle. is by Rico, the metallic. And I just stuck in a silver thread. Fun. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> right? Just for the fun. Just of it. The fun, for the fun of it. I, I cast on for this in um, Prince Rupert when oh, Rob and I went to Prince Rupert. I love it. And uh, I just wanted to have something to cast on. You know, when you go on a trip, you want to cast on. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my um, Violet Waffles. So it's a awesome. cute little name. So, we've got mitts and toques on the go. Yes. We've got lots of other things on the go, but we yes. have to choose. We want to make sure we're in our timeline here. Oh, yeah. 
right? Yeah, yeah. So, and a lot of the stuff that we're doing today too are class are parts of classes. They are. Yeah, which um, brings us into our queue. Yeah, so we did the Embrace Cal as a class. We did those mitts as a class, and now we're doing this next one as a class in November. Okay. And Dar, how many people do oh, we have signed up? We have, I think it's either 12 or 13. It is going to be We so said max fun. 16 because we want to make sure we can help everyone. Support people, yeah. Yeah, so this is the pattern. This is the Strathcona. By Tara Lynn Morrison. Yeah, and it's from her collection called Good Night Day. I just... And her Strathcona, I think, that's the only picture. Oh, hang on. Here she is being very cool and chic. Ugh. Right? So this sweater is a, it, it's just, it gets so many compliments. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's fun, folks, because you have this big fat needle, mm -hmm. big fat yarn. You can practically count the stitches or the rows right. on the sweater when you're wearing it. Um, so, so then yeah. it's really fast yeah. and very beginner friendly. We mm -hmm. have people in that class that have never knit a sweater. Yeah, and they're going to do it's it. Just, we, you need to knit, purl, do some increases, yeah. and it's going to be so fun. Yeah. And I'm really excited about the yarn I chose. I've made the sweater three times already. Yeah, three. Yeah. And I've always used um, the snow. Yeah. But you show what you're going to do. I'm going to do Wish by Drops. So this is a very lightly spun, that kind of... A spin though that creates this um, it's like a like a braid almost mm -hmm. and this one has 50% uh, awesome. alpaca 33 cotton and 17 wool mm -hmm. so it's gonna be quite airy mm -hmm. uh, it is a super chunky so it'll it'll but it'll be a bit more open and light I love it Dar. yeah and so you I was right yeah up. I was in Vancouver in the shops my girls shopping away seeing all these like really trendy knit sweaters in the stores and I'm and I just kept thinking okay well I can eat that and I saw this fuchsia bright pink one and I came home and I was like dar I'm gonna change my yeah because you were gonna do wish yeah yeah so guess what people <laughs> look at this and then it's kind of got a Barbie vibe to totally it. Totally right? Barbie. That's what's going on. Right? And yeah. look at the yarn that I get to use. Briggs and Little Atlantic. And I'm going to bring in, because it might not be quite the right weight, so I'm going to bring yeah, in the this will make it silk. Yeah. Look at what's happening here. Fuzzy. <gasps> so I can't wait to get this going. Well, and, and every, you, once you get it done and you're wearing it, like everyone's going to want to hug you. Right. So just be prepared. I will. Except you. It's <laughs> yeah, got, except me. Because it's got more hair. No, I don't like more hair. Dark, dark can't do more hair. It just, yeah. Yeah. We can high five. Yeah, we can totally high five. So that's what I'm doing. Isn't I that love cool, it. Dark? I love it. And I love this that, you know, we're getting. We, uh, I have <laughs> I've, a lot I really in the shop, want don't to you? knit with something. Yeah, I have yeah. a lot of it. And yeah. I want to knit something with it. Yeah. I just love. And I know it's going to block out and be really soft. Because when you touch this, you're like, mm, it's very, uh, you know, what hard, is, hard. What does the nitty stew say? Toothy. Oh, yeah, I like that. I think toothy. She, she would say that's toothy. Yeah. 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 But it's going to block out. Use your metal needles. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so Ooh, we're use excited. Your metal needles. So Strathcona. Strathcona, coming. Coming it's way. coming, and there's still spots in the class if you're in PG and mm -hmm. want to knit a sweater. And she's a BC designer. She is. Yeah. So that is really fun. So our next <laughs> cue, I can hardly. Even. It's it's just been so like in the works that we we it's been so hard to hold off. Yeah. Um, but we've been wanting to do this sweater forever. Um, and now we're going to do it and we're, we're announcing it. it. So the Nitty Stew, Leanne, um, we've gotten to know her just through these podcasts. It's just so fun. And you, you just start to connect through your favorites and what you like. And we just know that 
we, I saw that she liked this sweater and we reached out and just said, hey, you want to collaborate and do a knit along? So we're going to. So we're doing the chest for the halibut. Yay! Look it. I love it. So we have lots of stories around this. Yeah. This so, is by Caitlin Hunter. So we're going to hashtag it, folks. Just for the halibut, Cal. Yeah. And we're going to put a um, group thread on our Cup Bank Girls group yes. on Ravelry. This is all new for us, but it's it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to knit. And we're going to talk about the knit along, not just having to be the sweater. Yeah. So uh, it was Leanne's idea to say, okay, how about we say the knit along is for the entire collection? Because... Yes. Caitlin Hunter of Boyland Networks, she has a pullover, of course, the toque, the cowl, and the mittens. So, you know, open it up to people who are right? like, I don't have time to make a sweater. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's really fun. And as we all know as knitters, when we start seeing other people's projects and we're all know that there's this worldwide group knitting these projects, it just, it, it gives me goosebumps to think these yeah. things. Well, and, or we jump up and down and we dance. <laughs> just for the hell of it. I know. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, like we so, can't see it enough. Yeah. That she, Nitty Stu Leanne wants to yeah, do this. Yeah. This is so fun. So the um, details are, you know, start knitting November 1st, yeah. finish whatever project by the December 15th. Um, either put something on Instagram or the group on Ravelry, and um, do we want there's going to the, be some prizes. Do we want them to have it finished? That was the goal. Yeah, yeah. So have whatever a photo. you're going to do, finished object by yeah. December fifteenth. Yeah, and then in our December episode, we'll do some prizes. Yay. And and if you have questions, just let us know because we don't know all the we haven't ins and outs of knit alongs, but. Other than live knit alongs, but it's it's just just knit. Yeah, yeah. And I want to put it out to those folks that who who have been coming to the top drawer mm. yarn knit alongs that you know what, do this knit along with us. Yeah. And down the road, I'm going to come up with a date where we can meet do live. It live. That'd because be so they fun. they were asking actually. They we were, had one yeah. on Saturday. Uh, for the wrap-up of the fall pull pullover knit along and everyone would, was going oh when are we gonna do this again one. so that so that, keep that would in mind. be cool yeah so okay. I'll put some dates out and, okay but okay let's talk so about let's what talk we're about knitting our yarn yeah do we have the same yarn um not quite. no not quite. okay you so go. here's my third <gasps> Briggs Briggs <laughs> and Little showcase today talk about Canadian right eh? and this yarn I've been wanting to knit with it ever since Dar's done her lighthouse but I'm going to use the regal and my halibut is going to be in white I was so close to switching into something brighter but this is really going to pop yeah and this yarn oh, I just I'm so excited. But so I your, promise your I won't body start till November is, 1st. Your body is Maybe. this color. It's called Midnight Blue. And my uh, my halibut, halibut. My halibut is bleached white. Big fish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's going to be so nice. You're going to love, you know what, my lighthouse sweater, I might be able to I say. I know. It's my favorite. It's my most comfortable sweater. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Yay. And we get to do this. I know. So I'm going to go with... Cascade 220. Oh, so years classic. ago, yeah, we had this, we had so many of the colors, mm. and this is left over from that time period. So we're just using up some yarn. Good job. And it's a charcoal. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use the regal for the for the white. Well mine is, is it... called washed white. Oh. And cool. yours is bleached bleached oh, white. So it's just a perfect. little bit off. Yeah. Yeah. And um so yeah, that's my halibut it's going to be. Hello. Okay, and I so did a little really bit of exciting. looking around, uh -huh. and I think I'm gonna do my um, I'm gonna do my sweater on a four point five to get the twenty inches. Yeah, I'm it's, definitely checking out. We're gonna have to the so gauge and yeah. Stuff. If you're gonna join this knit along, look closely at the gauge that she requests mm -hmm. because uh, to get twenty inches for me. 
on a yarn like this, mm -hmm. I have to use a 4.5. I see. And she's calling for a 4. Uh, so just just pay attention to that. Okay. It's not it's not I'm a major deal. Gauge. Swatch. Are you? Oh yeah. A color word gauge or are you going to uh, just well, I don't know. I'll, don't I'll know see what. what she has to say. I have okay. bought the pattern already, so I'm going to check yeah. it out. That's what I like to do. Yeah. Just sit at home and read patterns. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, the amount of time I spend on Oh, down the rabbit hole. How about this sweater? How, How about this one? Sweater? I actually organized my yarn this weekend oh. and just put all my sweater yarn in one shelf. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. It's funny. It is fun. I loved it. So, yeah, there's going to be prizes. We talked about that. Um, um, and our good friend now. We yeah. haven't met her yet. <laughs> She's talking She's... about coming to see us, so we will yeah, let you know exciting. when that happens. Yeah, she might do a little trip to, to the stuff. cup banks. So, yeah, that's our big announcements, and um, we were going to mention a maker mention, too. Yes, let's do that. Because this was really fun in um, the Embrace Cowl. Yeah. One of the girls was using two yarns, and she actually bought two yarn bowls well she was there and she was like pulling from one pulling from the other getting frustrated a little bit that they were twisting and i said right. hey let me get you a couple of yarn bowls just set them on the table and just go to town you know right. just use them test them out yeah yeah Which, and then she bought them she bought them both because <laughs> it is actually pretty awesome to be your your yarn doesn't get tangled yeah, yeah she was pleased so um, we would like to showcase a potter, Prince George Potter and a very good friend, mm -hmm. Anne Sar. It's pottery. Look at that pottery bowl. So while you're knitting, you, yes. you have art beside you. Yes. It's just and look so at the stunning. Inside. And then show, oh, look. There we go. Look how, and the yarn comes through there. Yeah, the yarn can come out there. Right. It's such a nice, I mean, I have a, I have a yarn bowl I and I... Yeah, it's just a nice piece to put on your coffee table. Yeah, you're you're that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's Anne Sar and she's a potter here in Prince George. I think she's in Europe right now, actually. Why did it go so white? I don't know. That's kinda of funny. Um the white out in the back. <laughs> the cup banks are still ah, there. They really this is are. our um tech tech uh our tech guy over there. He's <laughs> He's no help He's to us. He's not paying attention. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. cup bank is still there. I think if I actually just push that. Maybe you know, that one. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. But, so yeah. Yeah. That's our maker mention. We've got gone through everything, I think. And the cup bank cowl is going to be up oh, uh, for nice. purchase. And oh, look. It, there's a cup bank. It's there back it again. Hello. <laughs> um, so thanks, everyone. And... If you have questions just message us get on the Ravelry group and ask some questions and we'll just do our best to yeah. navigate this all together as we knit the halibut just just for the halibut yeah I love it oh I was gonna say too because I was in Rupert right right and um, I ended up getting this wonderful whale tail necklace Gorgeous. my husband gave it to me for our anniversary which was very sweet so anyway when I was in Rupert I was born there Rob lived there for a few years, so we went back, and uh, it used to be the halibut capital of the world. So <laughs> Isn't that great? Cool. Um, I think, uh, like, back in the 1900s and into, you know, fairly not too long ago, was yeah. it the halibut capital of the world? And I thought, this is so weird, because we're going to do the halibut, halibut just for the halibut. And then I was telling you, Dara, I, I have been fishing out there. Yes. Way it's back in the day with my dad, he used to have a boat and him and I did a trip together and we spent five days out on the water yeah. and back then you would catch all your fish. So I caught salmon and halibut and yeah. the whales were there and the dolphins so it's and such a it's a beautiful one. place. Yeah. But yeah, so lots of connections to halibut. So now somewhere in Alaska is now the cap. Oh. Halibut capital, and is that not where she's from? Yeah, she's from Hunter Alaska. is from yeah. Alaska. Yeah, so it's kind so of it's really fun. Small world. I hope that you get as much joy out of the halibut pieces as we do. I just I I am blown away by the sweater, so I'm super <laughs> pumped. I know it's good. So thanks everyone, Yay. and we'll see you the next time. And happy knitting. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Bye.